I don't even know what to say. Um, I haven't been doing yoga much of my life, on well, not regularly, but I um, I enjoy the practice, and I started my interest in yoga started because I was looking for more ways to exercise. But then I, the more I learn about yoga and the more I do it, the more I appreciate the benefits for the mind and the, the mind and, you know, kind of the spirit and not just the body and everything kind of ties together. Um, you know, you, you start doing something for one reason and sometimes it just all the other benefits kind of fall into place. So uh, I still don't practice <laughs> regularly, but every time I do, I. I enjoy it and I'm still learning things about it. I, I learned a lot from the classes you had here. I really enjoyed that. So now I will translate for these people in one minute. That's why I'm doing yoga. 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 तत्वज्ञानात पण इंटरेस्ट आहे तर आता ती थायलंडला गेली आहे तर थायलंडला माझ्या क्लासला ती येत होती म्हणून ती आता इथे आलेली आहे या क्लासला कळलं का आणि ती तिला अचक खूप इंटरेस्ट निर्माण झालेला आहे ती मुलगी आहे साधारण वीस पंचवीस वर्षाची असेल सो टुडे इज द सेकंड डे ऑफ दॅट फेस्टिवल यु नो द गणेश फेस्टिवल सो यस्टरडे प्रोग्राम टू अदर पीपल केम And okay. I recorded that. I hope that you were able to see that video. I uh, I thought I haven't actually done much with Zoom before, so I'm, I'm still thinking. Well, that video is not on Zoom. That video is on YouTube. Okay, I saw that one. I I haven't watched it, but I saw it. I I uh, I wasn't sure if there was something an hour ago. I tried to log in, but nothing happened. No, was... not one hour ago. That yesterday we decided to be one hour ago, but. Today we change the time by one hour. Okay, okay. Um, I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> so when you joined, it was one hour before when you joined. Yeah, and I tried to join an hour ago and nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, this is the correct time to join today. Uh, tomorrow okay. I might go back to older time. Every day I will write down the agenda. Okay. So okay, today's great. agenda, you saw today's agenda? I'm sorry? Today's agenda, did you see? Yes, yes. So yesterday's video, also I posted today. Yesterday's recording, yes. I posted. And <laughs> at the end of that video, my Sanskrit teacher is telling what this festival is about. Okay, yeah, I'm not I'm not familiar with the festival. Yeah, it is a, it is a very famous festival and... Uh, I think in five to ten minutes he tells what that festival is. Okay. And today is the second day. It continues for ten days. For ten days. All right. And every day I will have a different uh, item. One day there will be some yoga demo also, perhaps, if people want. Mm -hmm. So today, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to chant something. Okay. Which is a very, uh, yesterday also I chanted. Okay, and, yeah, I'll watch the video later. Yeah. So today I'm going to chant one big prayer. So let me bring it up first. Give me one minute. Is this festival all over India? Is it yes, particular? It's all over India, but it started in my city. Oh, I really? Did, I didn't know that. I came to know that only yesterday when my teacher was speaking. I came to know that it started <laughs> it started in my city and then it has reached now uh, all the countries <laughs> and especially are the... you all right do you need some tea or something <laughs> that is happening because of too much talking <laughs> When I teach yoga, I talk a little loudly, I think. I understand. That creates this problem. But anyway, just to uh, just to give an introduction, yesterday I said I chanted something which is very interesting, and there I told a little bit about 
why uh, that prayer I chanted. Uh, today I will be uh, chanting another one. Now, here it is. Okay. So, anyway, uh, so what happens is that in the uh, my interest is in the yoga practice, you know, mainly. So, mm -hmm. the according to me, chanting is very, very a loud and a need. Sir. Chanting is very, very important topic in the yoga because of so many reasons. Mm -hmm. So, this is described in chapter 15 of my book. However, I will later post one video of my lecture on chanting. So it explains why chanting is so important. Okay. Not only for mind, but even for physical health. Mm -hmm. Even for physical health, it is important. So I will uh, probably put at least one video <coughs> to support today's program. And in that, I will explain why the chanting is so important. <clears throat> okay. So now, in the chanting, there are a variety of different, different chants. Mm -hmm. Some of the chants are sound related. That means there is a sound happening all the time. And that sound is creating some vibrations and effects on the body and the mind. And some chanting is related to the yoga knowledge, that means yoga terminology is included in the chants. So by memorizing that, you are getting the knowledge of the entire that yoga philosophy in that chant. Mm -hmm. For example, if you memorize Patanjali Yoga Sutras, maybe what I will do today is I'll sing the Patanjali because it will be easier for you. It, this one is very big one, which I, that this I will do tomorrow. It will take one hour to chant. So, oh, wow. the Patanjali Yoga Sutra, the yoga knowledge is included in that chanting. So, if you memorize it, it under your understanding of the whole philosophy is in the memorized by you. Hmm. And then you can contemplate it at different times. Like, for example, if you are traveling in the aeroplane, mm -hmm. you can think about that chant. And then it will give you that knowledge of what he is saying sequentially. So, mm -hmm. uh, I will tell you that the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali is considered a standard text on, <clears throat> on the yoga philosophy. It was written 300 years before Christ. And after that, nobody has written text like that. After that, mm -hmm. in last 2000 years. So, <clears throat> the first time I, uh, that is a text used for entire understanding of the yoga philosophy today. Uh, so what I did was I when I learned that the chanting is very important. So generally sutras are not chanted; they are only said like atha yoga anushasanam yoga chitta rutti nirodha like that. They are said. Okay. But when I came to the chanting is very important, which you will learn from that other video which I will post. But okay. What I did was I created a chant out of that sutras. Okay. Then to help, I to memorize, help you memorize it? Yeah. I memorize them. There are around four chapters and total chanting is one hour, which I will do only half an hour today, maximum. Okay. But now, what happens is, after I chanted it, I learned the meaning of each and every word in that. Okay. Totally, like, exact meaning I learned by studying all the books. And I wrote one book in 2006, which is called mm -hmm. Proper Translation. So I wrote each word separately and wrote its meaning. Mm -hmm. So now I know the meaning of that Patanjali Yoga Sutras. Then what I did was I memorized the meaning also. And after that, what I did was I taught that meaning for almost 10 years. Okay. To different different started with the yoga schools. I started teaching yoga schools like RYD 200, RYD 500 courses. 
After that, I went to uh, university and taught in master's degree and PhD also. So my knowledge became more and more in that <clears throat> meaning. Deeper now, and deeper. Uh, it became deeper. It went to the extent that there is no competition for me. I believe that. So the funny thing is, it all started with the chanting. That is what I want to say. Now what I did was, after that, I chanted that entire thing on my own alone 16,000 times. That means I spent 16,000 hours to chant it. And when I chanted, I brought that meaning in my mind. Mm -hmm. Means with the focus on the meaning I chanted. So I created this new idea that you have to focus with the meaning and chant also. And, and also it should be music. So <clears throat> When I, when I did that, I came to know that in Patanjali's philosophy, some things are missing. Some important things are missing, like some definitions are missing. And some things are not applicable at all today. At all, they are not applicable today. So what I did was, I wrote another Patanjali Yoga Sutras. And that is called Patanjali Code. Okay. I wrote it in 2017. And when I published it, all the scholars were totally shocked that this guy has modified Patanjali. This is written 2000 years ago. And I got doctor of literature, uh, honorary degree for that work. So anyway, so the purpose of telling this whole thing is that it all started with chanting. Because if I did not chant it, I will not uh, go into contemplation on the meaning like that. Because I had, to, I had to chant alone and focus on the meaning. Mm -hmm. So this new idea, I wanted to, for people to know it as a part of this Ganesh festival. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to choose those chants which have got yoga in it. Ganesh and yoga together. So yesterday I chanted one already. And that, if you hear that story, you will be surprised what happened with me in yoga field with that chant. That is only a seven minute chant. But I went to Europe due to that chant. Now, today I will chant <coughs> Patanjali Yoga Sutras because the chant which I want to chant today is, is going to take a long time, which I will do tomorrow. So now I will, you, do you want to say anything now? Is there, is there anything you want me to say? Yeah, do you want to say anything about what I said or any question or comment or something like that? Uh, no, I'm a, I have very little experience with chanting. We, there was a bit of it at the monastery in the evenings. But um, I mean, I like what you said about kind of taking something and memorizing it and assessing it and yeah. and really kind of focusing on the, what that I mean, what that means and what that means to you and how to process it. So and that meaning, you know, you have to focus it and go on repeating that process many times. So what happens is that you, you start getting a deeper understanding of that subject Absolutely. and you know some other things which we did not know before. They are very simple. Sometimes there is, <laughs> sometimes they are very simple things, but they are extremely important. Mm -hmm. I will give you one example from Patanjali. See, in Patanjali, there is one uh, sutra. It says, Maitri Karuna Mudito Pekshanam Sukadukha Punya Punya Vishayanam Bhavanatas Chitta Prasadanam. Now, Chitta Prasadanam is a, uh, in simple English, it means that your mind should be happy and peaceful. That's all it means. In the simple language, Chitta. Now, mm -hmm. He has, if you look at the Patanjali Yoga Sutras, it comes before meditation starts. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking that why he has included that. I came to know that unless your mind is peaceful and happy, na, you cannot meditate at all. You can try your best, but you will not be able to uh, meditate for a long time. So mm -hmm. most of the people like Vipashtana, etc., what they are doing is they are not actually doing meditation. What they are doing is they are doing meditation for making the mind peaceful. Pre-meditation. Pre ah, they are doing the pre-meditation. 
so when i learned this uh, very simple fact <clears throat> in my system the to make your mind peaceful and happy is a very important process that means that every time when i teach the yoga class now i'm telling them that you have to make the mind happy and peaceful so it may not happen in the first class but you have to go on focusing on that idea and when you start stabilizing like your mind is peaceful and happy most of mm -hmm. the time of the day for prolonged period like one year then you come to know that now you are ready for doing real yoga until then you are struggling a lot you know you are doing this training ryt 200 and that's all struggle it's mm -hmm. not natural process you are those people who are <coughs> able to reach that level only their uh, practice becomes stable to make the practice stable you have to first make your mind peaceful and happy so this i came to know by chanting that's what i'm trying to say okay so anyway now i will chant the patanjali yoga sutras and i'm not trying to teach them now i'm only going to chant them and uh, the meaning is in my mind which you may not know but this is phone them <laughs> So this is a drone, C sharp. I'm going to chant to that drone. <clears throat> I don't know whether this timing is suitable for people. I don't know why people are not coming enough. 35 people wrote that they are interested. Yeah. But only two came yesterday online. <clears throat> but that always happens. So. Yeah. Sometimes very rarely some people came to my class, these are chanting and uh, they told me that their total life changed, you know, just by that idea. Yeah, you, you have to open yourself up to, to new possibilities. You never and know what uh, might come this up. Idea is, oh, this idea is very important, not only for yoga, but even if you're a medical student, for example, you know, that once you yeah. learn that chanting and memorization, you can, yeah, you can apply it to lots of things. You can memorize your uh, uh, the medical list of medicines. So when I teach uh, in the schools, I tell them that this memorization idea is very important. Yes, absolutely. This is the drone. No, I will chant. Mother Kai Kur no Papa. Shri Ganesha Yanamaha <clears throat> Om Shri Patay Jalaya Namaha Yoga Na Chittasya Pade Navacha Malam Shari Rasya Chavaitya Kena Yopakarottam Pravaram Munina Patay Jalim Pray Jaliranatosmi So this is a prayer <coughs> to Patanjali. 
and this prayer is written by one uh, literary guy. So the prayer is telling that Patanjali has done three works. One work is yoga work, another is Ayurveda, and the third one is literary work. Okay. And the prayer was written for literary work. <clears throat> but because the it starts with yogena, all the yoga teachers started singing that prayer in their class. So many people don't know that this is not a prayer for uh, so all the people started thinking this is a yoga prayer. It's not a yoga prayer. It is a literary prayer. Okay. So now we will go into the actual sutras. So I will sing the first chapter and see whether you want me to sing the second. First and second maximum I will sing. <laughs> Om Shri Ganesha Yanamaha Atha Shri Patai Jalayoga Darshanam Samadhi Padaha <clears throat> Atha Yoga Dushasanam Yoga Shitta Vritti Nirodha Tada Drashtu Swarupe Vasthanam Vritti Sarupya Mitaratra Vrittaya Paichataya Klishta Klishta Pramana Viparyaya Vikalpa Nidra Smrudaya Pratyakshanu Mana Gama Pramani Viparyayo Mitya Jnana Matadrupa Pradishtam Shabda Jnana Nupati Vastu Shunyo Vikalpa <coughs> 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 Abhava Pratyaya Lambana Vruttir Nidra Anubhuta Vishaya Sampramosha Smruti Abhyasa Vairagya Abhyam Tannirodha Tatrasthitau Yatno Bhyasa Satudirha kala nairantarya satkara sevito drudhavumi drishtanu shravika vishaya vitrushnasya vashikara sanjnya vairagyam tatparam purushakyate gunavai trushnyam Vitarka Vichara Nanda Smita Rupa Nukama Sambrajnya Virama Pratyaya Pyasa Purvas Sanskara Sheshonya Bhava Pratyayo Videha Prakruti Layana <clears throat> Shraddha Virya Smruti Samadhi Prajna Purvak Itaresham Tivra Samvega Nama Asana Mrudu Madhyadi Matratva Tato Pivishesha Ishwara Pranidana Dva Klesha Karma Vipaka Shayai Rapara Mrishta Purusha Vishesha Ishwara <coughs> Tatra Niradishayam Sarvajnya Bijam Sa Esha Purvesha Mapiguru Kale Nana Vat 
ಚೇದಾಚಕ ಪ್ರಣವ ತಚ್ಚಪಸ್ತದರ್ಥಭಾವನ ತತ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷೇತನಾಧಿಗಮೋ ವ್ಯಂತರಾಯಶ್ಚ ವ್ಯಾಧಿಷ್ಠಾನ ಸಂಶಯ ಪ್ರಮಾದಿ ಪ್ರಾಂತಿರಬ್ಧಭೂಮಿ ಕ್ವಾನವಸ್ಥಿತ್ತವಿಕ್ಷೇಪಾಸ್ತೇಂತರಾ ದುಃಖದೌರ್ಮನಸ್ಯಾಂಗಮೆ ಜಯತ್ವಶ್ವಾಸಪ್ರಶ್ವಾಸ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಸಹ ಭುವ ತತ್ಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧಾಕತ್ವಾಭ್ಯಾಸ ಮೈತ್ರೀ ಕರುಣ ಮುದಿತೋಪೇಕ್ಷಾಣ ಸುಖದುಃಖ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಪುಣ್ಯ ವಿಷಯಾಣ ಭಾವನಾಥಿತ್ತ ಪ್ರಸಾದನ ಪ್ರಚ್ಛರದನ ವಿಧಾರಣಾಭ್ಯಾಷಯವದೀವಾ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿರುತ್ಪನ್ನ ಮನಸಸ್ಥಿತಿ ನಿಬಂಧಿ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಷ್ಮತೀ ವೀತರಾಗವಿಷಯ ವಾಚಿತ್ತ ಸ್ವಪ್ನಿದ್ರಾಜ್ಞಾನಲಂಬನ ವಾತ್ಯಾಣು ಪರಮಹ ವಶೀಕಾರ ಕ್ಷೀಣವೃತ್ತೇರಭಿಜಾತ ಮಣೇರ್ಗೃಹೀತೃಗ್ರಹಣಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯು ತಸ್ತೈ ಜನತಾ ಸಮಾಪತ್ತಿ ತಬ್ಧಾರ್ಥಜ್ಞಾನವಿಕಲ್ಪೈ ಸಂಕೀರ್ಣ ಸವಿತರ್ಕ ಸಮಾಪತ್ತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪರಿಶುದ್ಧ ಸ್ವೂಪಶೂನ್ಯೇವಾರ್ಥಮಾತ್ರಭಾಸ ನಿರ್ವಿತರ್ಕ ಸವಿಚಾರ ನಿರ್ವಿಚಾರ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ವಿಷಯ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ವಿಷಯ ಚಾಲಿಂಗಪರ್ಯವಸಾನ ತೀಜ ಸಮಾಧಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಚಾರ ವೈಷಾರದ್ಯೇತ್ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನುಮಾನ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಭ್ಯಾಮನ್ಯ ವಿಷಯ ವಿಶೇಷಾರ್ಥ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರೋನ್ಯ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಪ್ರತಿಬಂಧೀ ನಿರೋಧೆ ಸರ್ವನಿರೋಧಾನ್ನಿರ್ಬೀಜ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಶ್ರೀಪಾತೈಜಲೆ ಯೋಗಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೆ ಸಮಾಧಿ ನಿರ್ದೇಶೋ ನಾಮ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪಾದ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ 
in the ashtanga yoga practice you know eight limbs of patanjali not ashtanga vinyas ashtanga vinyas is exercise ashtanga yoga of patanjali there are eight steps and when you go to the fifth step you become inward after fifth stage you forget the body part and you are inside the mind only so the first five first five steps prepare you to go inside the mind once you go inside the mind the body is forgotten and that that part where the meditation starts in yoga so after the you, meditation becomes one pointed totally one pointed that is called samadhi state <clears throat> so in the first chapter he is describing that after you get that samadhi state what development should happen for you to reach the uh, the nirvana so this chapter it describes what happens after samadhi state so the interesting thing is that when i uh, did the chanting i came to know that this should not be the first chapter at all first chapter should be the practice and after you get samadhi you are, this should be coming after that so i rearranged the entire thing and so the people were surprised that i changed the modified the whole patanjali sutras but then now they were not understanding why this chapter is coming first and they are trying to give some reasoning which is not working out because this chapter should not be the first at all it should be first practice like ordinary practice like just uh, you know first become interested in yoga that is the first step if you are not interested in yoga then you cannot succeed you can go to many classes but you are not interested you are just going to one class then another class and just talking with the friends that's not interest in yoga mm -hmm. then you have to become you have to come to a place where you can sit for some time so that is the third step in patanjali out of eight that you should be able to sit at one place like 3 to 5 hours at least and you should feel happy while sitting not feel dis uh, you should not feel disturbed so this samadhi state will not come unless you can sit at one place but people meditation. are meditation yeah so this meditation will not happen until you come to sitting place so this patanjali uh, he has not given step wise in the sutra so i changed that sutra structure so that first you go step by step and then once you go to samadhi state what should happen to get to the nirvana so anyway this idea i got because of chanting again and again 16000 times so in the second chapter he is talking about the practice but mm -hmm. the practice also is not given properly in sequential order it's all mixed up like sometimes he tells about karma sometimes talks about practice and then he says very difficult if it is difficult have a devotion to god everything is mixed into one package so do you want me to sing the second chapter i said to you i am enjoying it but i can watch it in other videos no i will sing now second chapter and then stop there and then we do only a one minute prayer to ganesh to all right it. so now i'll go to the second chapter <coughs> om shri ganeshaya namaha ओम श्री पतंजल नम अत श्री पातंजल दर्शन साधन पाद तपस्वाध्यायर प्रणिदानी क्रियाग समाधि भावनार्थ क्लेशतनुकर्थ अविद्यागत्वेशुवेशा क्लेशा अविद्याक्षेत्रुत्तरेशा प्रसुप्तनु विच्छिन्नोदाराण अनिशुचि दुखात्मसु निशुचि सुखात्मख्यादर्शन शक्तोरेका 
सुखाशराग दुखाषेश स्वरसवाही विदुषोपी तन्वनुबंधो विवेश ते प्रतिप्रसवहे सूक्ष्मा ध्यान तद्वृत्तया क्लेशमूल कर्माशयो दृष्टादृष्टजन्म वेदनीय सती मूल तद्विपाको जायुर्भोगा ते लाद परितापफला पुण्या पुण्य हेतु परिणाम ताप संस्कार दुखवृत्ति विरोधाच दुखमे सर्व विवेक हेयम दुखमनागदम द्रष्टुदृश्यो संयोगो हेय हेतु प्रकाशक्रियाशील भूतेन्द्रियात्मक भोगापवर्गा दृश्य विशेषा विशेष लिंगमात्रिंगा गुणपर्वा दृष्टा दृशिमात्र शुद्धो प्रत्ययानुपश्य तदर्थ एव दृश्य सैता व्रदि नष्टम्यनष्ट तदन्यसाधारण स्वस्वामीशक्तो स्वोपलब्धि हेतु संयोग तस्तुरद्या तदभागा हानम तदृशे कैवल्यम विवेकख्यातिरिप्लवा हानोपाय तप्तधा प्रातभूमि प्रज्ञा योगांगाषुदीक्ष ज्ञानदीप्तिरा विवेकख्याते यमनियमासन प्राणायाम प्रत्याहार धारण ध्यान सदय अहिंसा सत्यास्ते ब्रह्मचर्या परिक्रहा यमा जाति देश काल समया नवच्छिन्ना सार्वभौमा महाव्रत शौच सतोष तपस्वाध्यायेश्वर प्रणिधा वितर्कबाधने प्रतिपक्ष वितर्का हिंसादय कृतकारितामोदिता लोभ क्रोध मोह पूर्वका मृदुम्यामात्रा दुखा ज्ञानफला प्रतिपक्ष भावन अहिंसा प्रतिष्ठायाम तत्सन्निध वैरत्याग सत्य प्रतिष्ठायाम क्रियाफलाश्रय हस्ते यतिष्ठायान ब्रह्मचर्य प्रतिष्ठायाम वीर्यलाभ
अपरिग्रह स्थैर्ये जन्म कथंता संबोध शौचात्वांगजुगुप्सा परैर संसर्ग सत्वशुद्धि सत्शुद्धिमन चैकाग्रेन्द्रिय जयात्मदर्शन योग्यवाच सतोषादनुतम सुखलाभ कायेन्द्रियशुद्धिशुद्धिक्षयापसा स्वाध्यादेवता संप्रयोग सीश्वर प्रणिधानसुखमासन प्रयत्नशैथिल्यानंद सतोद्वंद्वा सदी श्वास प्रश्वासगति विच्छेद प्राणायाम स तो बाह्याभ्यतरस्तंभवृत्तिरदेशदृष्ट दीर्घसूक्ष्म बाह्याभ्यतर विषयाक्षेपी चतुर्थ ततक्षीयते प्रकाशावरण धारणसु योग्यता मनस स्वया संप्रयोग चिस्वूपाकारेन्द्रियाण प्रत्याहार तत पर वश्यतेन्द्रियाणीपातजले योगशास्त्रे साधन निर्देशो नाम विदीय पाद ओ शाति 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 So in this, you know, there is eight steps: yama, niyama, asana, pranayam, pratyah, tarana, dhyan, samadhi. Now, out of these, third one is asana, and you will find that in the entire two hundred sutras of Patanjali, only two sutras are an asana. Out of two hundred, only two. That is four percent. No, one percent. One, no, very much. Half, half. Yeah, one percent. And only five sutras are on pranayam. Out of what are two, what are most of them on? Ah, now the interest. The interesting thing is that all the yoga teachers na they are teaching asana for eighty to ninety percent. Yeah, and they are teaching pranayam. <laughs> Five percent, and at the beginning of the class, they are singing Patanjali prayer. The interesting thing is, they are singing Patanjali prayer, but they are doing asana eighty percent and are this uh, nine five percent uh, pranayam, and they are not teaching meditation at all. But ninety percent of Patanjali is for meditation, and they are telling that we are teaching Patanjali yoga. they are also giving the name to the class patanjali yoga really yeah you see all the teachers ayangar patabi joyes ashtanga vinaya they are all teaching they are saying we are teaching patanjali but they are not teaching patanjali at all that's quite funny so it is going on for last uh, 75 years <laughs> i am not saying they should not teach asana but they should not say that patanjali is telling that mm hmm i met one uh, mm -hmm. Uh, lady, she had done two years course in Patanjali, ah, uh, in the yoga. She had two years certificate course in university, full time course, and she told that uh, she uh, Patanjali uh, is talking about headstand, but there is no uh, no asanas at all in the Patanjali. All the yoga poses are not there at all, zero. 
Only pose is sitting pose for meditation. So the thing is that they are telling different things. So I just want you to tell, tell you that because of chanting, I came to know that this is what is happening. It's very interesting. <laughs> anyway, now we have one very handsome man. His name is Devanand. Hello, and I'm Jennifer. He came to know our class because he had a massive heart attack. Oh, wow. And then he, uh, that same day he came and then he did some yoga and after 19 days, he cancelled the surgery and he uh, got rid of all heart attack and uh, his uh, diabetes he had for six years, that also went away and he, he gave up all the medication and now he's around eight years have passed. And he lost uh, like maybe 20 kilo weight. He, he lost 20 kilo weight and started looking handsome. Wow. <laughs> so we changed his name to one uh, actor's name called Devanan. So he's now looking very handsome and all the girls are after him. <laughs> anyway, that's a funny part. Like okay. So now uh, what we will do is, uh, we have ten more, eight more minutes. We'll do one uh, arati, which is a one kind of prayer. And my Sanskrit teacher will come back one day out of 10 days and then he will tell what arati means and why its significance etc so now we'll quickly do the arati for <coughs> 2 minute so just hang on so arati means we have a flame and we do like that like this and then we sing one prayer Okay, now we'll start. <coughs> this you already know. Okay, now we sing the mantra, which is the for offering the flowers at the end of this prayer. Om Yajne Yajnamayanta Devasani Dharmani Patamanyasana Dehanakam Maimanas Sakanda Yatra Uve Satya Santi Devaha Om Rajadi 
राजाय प्रसरिय साय दे नमो वयम वै श्रवणाय कुरुमहे सबे कामान काम कामाय वैयम की कामेश्वरो वै श्रवणो तदादु उवे राज वै श्रवणाय महाराजाय नमः ओम स्वस्ति साम्राज्यं बहुजन महाराज्यं वैराज्यं पारमेश्वरं राज्यं महाराज्यं अधिपत्य वयम तमंदवर्या आ ईशा सार्वभौमस सार्वा विशांतादा भरातादु दिव्ये समुद्र पर्यंताया एकराडि की तदप्रेषस्तोको विगीतो मरुदर्प परिवेष्टारो मरुदस्या संग्रहे आविष्टस्य कामप्रे विश्वे देवा सभास सहिति मंत्र विश्वान्यलिन समपयामि करजर्गुतम् वा कायजम् कर्मजम् वा श्रवणनयन जम् वा मानसम् वा परादम् विदितम् विदितम् वा सर्वमेतत्समस्व जय जय करुणाभे श्री प्रभो दायनाद अंधकोटि ब्रह्मांडनाय काजाजिराज उकिराजी नचितांग गुरु सायना आराध की जय ओम श्री ओगी राज उकुण्ड महाराज की जय ओम श्री गुरु प्रकृतनाथ महाराज की जय ओम श्री गुरु देवदत्त गुरु देवदत्त गुरु देवदत्त ओम श्री गुरवे नमः गणपति बापा होरिया गणपति बापा होरिया गणपति बापा होरिया लगाए मने थे कर। Okay, we are done. Now we are going to eat. If you want to come, come. Hi, class. <laughs> this is Devanan. See this, Devanan. <laughs> Can you believe that he had a massive heart attack and he was going to die? Huh? Yeah. That's, that's wonderful. I'm well, not a heart attack, but yeah. you've become so much healthier. Okay. Really. Well, See you Put tomorrow. Things in perspective. Yeah, yeah, I'll try. Yeah. So enjoy. Yeah.